In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're partway through a series of sorts in our vigil services. Last week we talked about the first of these traits that we look to, uh, that we look to build in our parish. We talked about the liturgical calendar and how we uh, we serve the Orthodox Church in Brisbane through this means. We serve Orthodox Christians in Brisbane through this means of providing a place to pray, to worship in the language of this nation. Today's trait is more personal. It's perhaps foundational. For many, it's foundational. For others, it builds on that communal worship. But whether the individual comes first and then the communal, or the communal first and then the individual, it is also a vital trait that is important for us as those who follow Christ. That is theosis. That is becoming Christ-like, becoming sanctified. All of these are broadly synonyms. A parish that is attempting to foster these things will be encouraging its people, as we do, to continue growth in the spiritual life. And this is something that we discuss frequently. This is something that we discuss through the spiritual disciplines that we know, that we've heard about, for some of us, perhaps countless times. Prayer and fasting and scripture reading and stewardship and the sacraments. Each of these being vital, not for, not for the people around us, perhaps, certainly for ourselves. And we talk about these things because they lay the foundation for the remainder of our spiritual growth. When we spoke a couple of weeks ago, it was to talk about what is the church? What is the nature of the church? We talked about bricks all forming a building, which sounds inconsequential till we remember that each of those bricks are each and every one of us, that each and every one of us contributes to this grand edifice. Well, as grand as we make it, as grand as we can participate in. Our path on theosis, our path towards sanctification, our path towards becoming more and more Christ-like is exactly that. It's polishing the, the brick that perhaps we are. Polishing, making better, making smoother. Things that we do by being in community around each other. Occasionally with friction and then mending. If we have the first, we must have the second. This theosis is something that, yes, we do individually, but we also do this collectively. Do we not begin Lent, after all, by asking forgiveness of each other, thereby acknowledging that our individual sins do impact on our community, do impact on our brothers and sisters in Christ? When we come to confession, as so many so many have today and so many are continuing to. When we come to confession, are we not then reconciled to his church? Thus also knowing what it is that we are doing, knowing what it is that these small, small shifts, these um, small bumps, that these don't just impact on us, but on all that we touch on all that we impact on. And so we know from this that we are all part of that one building, all part of that one structure. Put another way, all part of that bride that our Lord espoused himself to. When we had done nothing to deserve it, he, espoused up, he, he was espoused to. That we might to use a third analogy, properly be his body following Christ the head. So when we go home, when we have that liturgy after the liturgy, as, as was sometimes talked about, that time between the end 
of the Sunday liturgy and the beginning of the next one. What of our Lord's work are we bringing? And we continue to do this. We continue to do this building up our community, building up our brothers and sisters. We continue to do this encouraging our brothers and sisters, far from justifying errors, to show that mercy, to show that hand up, to show that encouragement that we may all be encouraged to follow Christ. We may be encouraged to be enthused in its most etymological meaning of having God within, that we may be brought to the fullness of the stature of Christ. This is a purpose for our parish, something that we can all participate in. As our, as our general meeting approaches, we remind ourselves of these things and we recommit ourselves to these things that we may follow Christ that we may follow the example, indeed, of his mother, whose, whose repose we commemorate today, whose life we remember as a whole sacrifice, a whole offering to our Lord and Savior, before she even knew why. Nonetheless, that offering and that willing offering, as our parish commemorates, that she said yes to God gives us a role model to follow as we say yes to him all the days of our life. Amen.